Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and today in this video I will tell you how to solve an assignment problem with negative cost. Here you can see negative cost are involved. Step 1. Find out the most negative number and add equivalent positive value to all elements. Here the most negative number is minus 16. We will add positive 16 or equivalent positive value to all the elements. So that will give us 5 plus 16, 21, 8 plus 16, 24, 12 plus 16, 28 and so on. Do the operations to all elements. Step 2. Get at least one zero in each row and each column. Again I have rewritten the matrix from the last step. To get at least one zero what you have to do scan each row and each column for the smallest number and subtract that number from all the numbers in that row or that column. So here in row 1 the smallest number is 18. So subtract 18 from all the numbers in row 1. So that gives us 21 minus 18 plus 3, 24 minus 18 plus 6, 10 to 8 minus 18 plus 10 and 18 minus 18 0. So perform the row operations on each of the rows that gives us this matrix and now we will scan for columns so you can see in column 1 there is not any 0 so we will perform the same operation the smallest number is 3 subtract 3 from all the elements so that gives us 0 33 14 and 11 so now we have this matrix where we have at least one 0 in each row and each column so we can proceed to our next step. Step 3. Draw lines to cover maximum zeros with minimum lines. Our objective is to start with that row or that column which has maximum zeros. So first in our 4 cross 4 matrix we look for any row or any column whether it has exactly 4 zeros or not. If not then we look for 3 zeros in a row or in a column. So if not then we look for 2 zeros in single row or single column. That is, we will start for looking for, uh, for highest numbers of zeros and go to the lowest numbers of zeros. So here, you can see in row 1, we have got two zeros. So we will draw our first line or L1 in row 1. Third column, we have our two zeros. So that is our L2. And in fourth row, we have our one zero left. So that is our L3. If there are same numbers of zeros that is two zeros in everywhere then you can start drawing line arbitrarily. So we have covered all the zeros with minimum possible lines. So our drawing line step is complete. Step 4. Test for optimality. I have rewritten the matrix from the last step. Test for optimality will check for whether the numbers of lines drawn here three lines are drawn equals to or not the number of rows. Here lines are 3, rows are 4. So number of lines are not equal to number of rows. So this solution is not optimum. So step 5, operations for optimality. Step 5.1, search for the smallest uncovered element. These are uncovered elements. That means through them any line has not gone. So among the uncovered elements, the smallest number is 2. Step 5.2. Subtract that from each of the uncovered elements. So, 30 minus 2, 28. 44 minus 2, 42. 17 minus 2, 15. 14 minus 2, 12. And 19 minus 2, 17. And 2 minus 2, 0. Step 5.3. And add that value to each intersection element. The smallest number 2 will be added to intersection elements. These are called intersection elements. So here we will get 12 and here 19. Step 5.4. Keep the strike through element intact. Means covered elements or strike through elements like these elements will be kept intact. So by performing step 5 ultimately you will get our new matrix. Step 6. Again draw lines and test for optimality on newly formed matrix. This is our newly formed matrix. Again we will draw line by the same process and test for optimality. This time 
our lines are L1, L2, L3 and L4. So it's an optimal allocation. Next perform allocation. For allocation the process is scan each row and each column to find out a row or column which has exactly one zero. So here in row one we have two zeros but in row two we have exactly one zero. So we'll do our first allocation in this position. Allocation means covering that zero with a box and cover all the zeros along that column and that row by a cross. So here after allocating this zero we will cross this zero along that column and in that row there is no zeros. So this allocation is done. Next again we will look for a single zero. So here after cutting this zero in row 3 we have exactly one zero. So our second allocation will be done here and this zero will be cut again after crossing this zero uh, we have exactly one zero in row 1 this is our third allocation and ultimately we are left with this zero. So this is our fourth allocation. So all the allocations are complete. Step 8 produce the allocation list and the allocation cost. Allocation list is simple this 1 is assigned to A, this 2 is assigned to C, this 3 is assigned to D and 4 is assigned to B. Next the allocation cost. Allocation cost is given with respect to our original matrix. In our original matrix in 1A position we had the value 5, the 5. In 2C position we had the value minus 16, minus 16. Similarly, in 3D position we had 5 and 4D position we had minus 10. So adding all the respective values you will get the allocation cost. So for this allocation our cost is minus 16. This is our answer. So friends this was my video on assignment problem with negative cost. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you like this video please like it using the like button below and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. By subscribing, you can stay connected with me and get regular updates from me. Apart from this video, I have uploaded many other videos on operation research like Vogel's approximation method, Northwest corner rule, matrix minimum method, assignment problem with the maximum cost, minimum cost, assignment problem with unbalanced problem, etc. You can find out all my operation research videos on the playlist. The link to the playlist is given in the video description. I have uploaded tutorials on how to use all the 8 modes of the scientific calculator FX on ES from mode 1 computational mode to mode 8 vector mode. I have uploaded videos on this FX82 to MS calculator also like 20 cool features of FX82 to MS calculator, how to solve statistics problem on this calculator. So friends thanks for watching see you in my next video and stay connected by subscribing.